the cappuccino handicap is next and it's yet another long distance race two and a half miles this time two more four and a half furlongs actually 0 to 80 drive by ob1 ballet prince john morgan jeopardy graham clutterbuck meg mucklebones martin lidham alessia ransom thomas rogers captain paddy alex cherry six of them in this and away they go and racing and i'm going to use this race as a fireside chat because i know i'll be one serious chill likes me to do the odd fireside chat sometimes and this race is a perfect example of where things have got to change a little bit in the so world because in the real world of racing the Asker gold cup over two and a half miles is a grade one event which is for group horses horses that want to run for two and a half miles on a flat they get sent hurdling and chasing you don't get that many long distance races and when you do they're usually jump horses that are just having a spin on the level we don't need all these long distance handicaps i'm sure nobody when they're playing the game at home thinks i'm gonna try and breed a two and a half mile handicapper they probably try and breed a gold cup horse asking gold cup horse and it turns out no good so they end up putting it in this these are pointless races and they just drive everybody up the wall and the reason they drive everybody up the wall is because for a race runner they take longer to run and when you're a commentator they take longer to commentate on and nothing happens usually so yeah all right we need a couple every week we need two milers and stuff we don't need all these two mile four furlong two mile five furlong all with handicaps where they've got five runners in these are the type of races that need to be got rid of so that people don't get bored and when i say people getting bored i know some people might say well i win a lot of these i do all right but if you're the people that get involved doing the making sure it all happens the, the volunteering the race running the commentating or whatever you i've got no idea what it's like for me when i've done 20 30 odd races and the next one comes up and i see oh god it's a two and a half mile 0 to 80 handicap with seven runners in it because the enthusiasm isn't is, is not there so i'm sorry i know i've got one in it and it's just one of those things because you know those races are there and you should, oh, I stick a long distance horse in simply because I know they're easy pickings for wins and I always put a long distance horse in and it always picks up two or three wins I might not win this one but that's that's why we do it and it's I just think we need to take a complete relook at it how many times do you go racing and see a two and a half mile flat race on the card I would say not very often and we've had at, oh, we've had three or four this week already it's only day two and I've, i'm sure i've done at least three races that have been over two miles already maybe even more than that um and i'll dare say i've got some more tomorrow but anyway it's something that needs to be taken a serious look at i think um it's not up to me it's up to the powers that be and they will decide and then everybody else will do what they want to do and whatever but it's i really can't see that i'm going to want to be commentating on too many more of these because i'm these are the ones that burn me out to be honest if anybody's interested and it's captain paddy in the lead but you've also got to be aware that there might be somebody who's in this race who is his favorite horse and he wants to win and he wants a decent commentary on it and so i feel bad when i moan but anyway Captain Paddy's in front. Ballet Prince is next. That's a John Morgan horse. John Morgan is brilliant with these long distance horses. If this horse doesn't win this, it'll be a miracle. And Graham Clutterbuck likes them as well. His will probably be second. It looks to me at the moment like a Ballet Prince is going pretty well. Jeopardy's gone past it at the moment, but there's still three furlongs to go. And take into account here that the horse at the back purple and white striped horse, my horse, Meg Mucklebones, won the long distance handicap at Ascot, at Royal Ascot, so it just shows you now, doesn't it, how far away that one is from these pair, I mean, these pair of, these pair of handicappers, are they? Five or six foot, five or six, five or six lengths clear, it's going to be Ballet Prince from Jeopardy, as 
predicted by me, which wasn't hard to predict really. But they're a long way clear of the rest of them. Third was driveway, fourth was Meg Mucklebones. Unless you ransom after that, and I'm sorry, but totally pointless race to me for, for me that. Bally Prince takes it. Oh, John Morgan, Jeopardy second for Graham Glintable. Driveway OB1, Meg Mucklebones, and then Captain Paddy was fifth. <laughs>